Merry Christmas, everyone. I got a very special compilation video for you to celebrate. Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's special lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, as always, John Correa, and a very Merry Christmas from me and all of the staff at Active Self Protection to you and your family. Today, I have a special video. I went back in all of 2022 and I looked for my very favorite defensive gun uses, the ones I thought were chef's kiss perfect. I couldn't break it down any farther, so there's 20 of them just for you. Today's video is brought to us by Barrel Block. Barrel Block is an excellent dry fire training aid that we've used for years and recommend. It provides an easy to see indicator that your firearm is empty and safe for dry practice. It comes in all service calibers and can be installed and removed in seconds without disassembling your gun. It's an inexpensive, easy way to give more margin for safety, so go pick one up today. News stories that I have linked in the description say that this burglar has been in this complex multiple times, and uh, he has stolen things, including things out of the home of our defender here, and this man and his girlfriend come home and see this guy stealing out of one of their neighbor's house. So our dude goes and gets his shotgun that he uses to defend the homestead, sees this guy with the television in hand, points the shotgun at him, and the dude decides, oh, okay, no, I'm, I don't want to eat a load of buckshot for this guy's TV. And so then our defender puts him down in the grass there and gets him to give up, and the guy is going to lay down, and they held him there for the cops. Watch this guy come in, put something up on the counter like he's gonna buy it, goes outside and he's going to come back in with a rifle and threaten the clerk. Now you're gonna watch here from this angle, he's gonna duck and run because our clerk who's openly carrying a handgun pulls his gun and shoots at the guy. He did miss the guy who then was later taken into custody. This is a cell phone store and the guy at the counter here is, you know, showing, oh man, I want a new phone. Now watch him start to look around a little bit and see what's going on. He's actually going to kind of make some target glances here and then out of the fanny pack, he's going to draw a firearm. We have audio from here. Let's listen in for the emotion. I've sped this up just for the sake of time. They went off camera for about 30 seconds. There's not much to hear or see here. The news story that I read said the shop owner fired three times. I could only see two on camera. It did say he hit this guy twice and they did arrest him and arrested his getaway driver a short time later. Our clerk was unhurt. As you can see on the timestamp, it's early morning when this guy ride and these guys, two dudes on a moto, one points a gun at him. So he stops his bike quickly, puts his hands in the air and surrenders. So this guy's gonna come over, put his gun away and then start frisking this guy down, looking and seeing, okay, has he got a gun? Where's his phone? Where's his wallet? Those things. And now he wants his helmet. Now watch what happens here as his buddy on the moto, who's his getaway rider, he's gonna get back to the bike. Watch the guy in the white car that was gonna recognize the bike jacking in progress. Boom, shoots at that guy twice. Gonna get after him a third time here as well while our victim and the getaway driver run off. Um, now, if you go read the news story that I've linked in the description, best I have is that the, the perp here was shot in the arm and in the leg. And you can see that our intrepid third party defender is actually in a police uniform. You see our perp there tossed the gun, kind of gave up, pulled the gun out and tossed it away. So now our, our off duty cop, who my guess is is going to work at being 540 in the morning or whatever, um, you see the guy that stopped up at the top of the screen and our, our cop is gonna kind of wave him in just a little bit. While our perp kind of sits there and goes, ouch, it really hurts to get shot. Now, I'm gonna let this play 
just because I want you to see kind of what goes on from here is he's going to frisk him, our officer is, and see if he's got any other weapons on his person. Doesn't look like he does to me. The cop's going to leave our victim's uh, helmet there as well as the gun you can see just to the right of the officer. He's obscuring it now. Uh, and just kind of kind of hold off on this guy. Now, the guy who kind of stopped at the top of the screen, he's going to truck his way back. He's going to come back on the reverse here and, and kind of halfway block the street. He's going to pull in just a little bit while our officers kind of has called him in a minute ago and was looking for him. I don't know if the guy said something to him or whatever and said that he's an off-duty or he's willing to help or whatever, but our officer is just going to kind of keep an eyeball on this guy and just kind of look around and see if maybe uh, the, the perps, uh, you know, getaway driver came back. Uh, I don't have any information beyond this. They said that this guy was uh, shot twice. Uh, they did catch the uh, associate, they catch the getaway driver as well. No one else was harmed. The security footage here was filmed with a potato, but inside the circle on the left is a Brazilian off-duty. It is fairly late at night, at least it's after dark, as you can see. She is close to home and is finishing that trip home uh, in a walk. And two dudes who are disguised as pizza delivery guys come up and show a revolver to her when she draws her own gun, drops the first one. Now watch her keep going here. And uh, she said, according to the news story, took a total of five shots at these two guys. See, the first one is down. The second one actually dropped as well. She killed them both in reality. Both of those guys took the asphalt temperature challenge. She was unhurt. They did find a 22 revolver with those guys. This is a rural area. This guy is living on a farm with his 67 year old mother. According to the news story, I've linked it in the description. You can read it, it's in Spanish. And so he's got a bunch of little yappy dogs. They got like some little, you know, little tiny little pooches in the house. And you see one go out and they start barking at somebody who is outside. And you see that guy is starting to look for, hey, maybe I can get in here and steal this guy's truck. Well, our farmer grabs a hold of his revolver and that guy comes up with a gun and our defender pops him literally right in the face with that gun. Actually shot at him twice, we'll talk about it in a minute. He's gonna go here and pick that gun up, hand it to mom. Actually, you go read the news story, he actually even piled this guy in the truck to try to get him to the hospital, to try to maybe get him some help and see if he could save his life. But that guy had some accomplices that were following along and the guy did not feel like he could. And so he ended up dumping the body and calling the cops, which sounds super weird, but I think this is justified conduct. See these ladies kind of moseying over to a car. There is a gentleman in the passenger front seat of this car. Um, he is apparently, they, they call him an elderly gentleman in the news stories that I've linked in the description. Now watch from the top left, these two guys come kind of ambling down the road as these ladies are kind of, you know, moseying, getting into the car or whatever. And what we're gonna see here pretty quick, as I'm sure you can expect, is that these guys are actually carjackers. So they come up with a couple of firearms and start threatening these folks. And so this guy's gonna try to start getting in the car. He's like, hey, I want the keys or whatever. Now watch the dude who's gonna get taken out of the passenger seat. Again, an older gentleman's gonna go back behind the, the pillar there, draw the firearm that he is carrying and rolling dirty with, that's gonna come into play in a moment, and start taking shots at these guys. His shots are effective, and one of them is gonna run off and take the asphalt temperature challenge down the street. They are still looking for the second one. Now then, None of the good people here were harmed and this guy's actions were considered self-defense. That said, if you go read the news story, it was determined that his firearm was not registered and he did not have a license to own that firearm. And so he is going to be charged with that, which can lead to him being in prison for several years in Brazil for simple possession of an unregistered firearm. The action here is gonna come really fast. This is a gun store. You can see the guns on the right side and like a camping store in Paraguay. And these guys are just chilling, you know, minding the shop. And our action is going to begin and watch them come in through the door. It's gonna go in a hurry. There's kind of sped up in the beginning. I didn't do that. It's just what was released and posted on social media. As these guys are talking, watch this guy come in. He's actually an accomplice. Other guy comes in, gun up and starts shooting. And so our guy gets his gun out, gets shots on both of them, ended up smoking the guy in the red shirt. He took the room temperature challenge. The other guy was hit as well, ran off and was arrested. <laughs> 
We have audio from the surveillance footage on this one as this clerk is just minding his business in his store. Let's listen in. What is it? What is it, bud? What did you guys need? Oh, right over here. Hey, 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 The clerk hit at least one of them. There was a blood trail leaving the store. I don't have any follow-up information from there, though. The customer at this pizza shop is an off-duty police officer, so you know what's going to happen. Watch these other two folks come in. This is a man and his girlfriend. He's going to pull a gun, point it at him, and now our guy's going to be like, all right, man, here's my phone, whatever. Here's my backpack. Have at it. The employees are going to comply. And, and again, he was just waiting for a pizza there. Now watch, he kind of gets down and now our perp is going to take a, a little look at him, but he's super compliant. So he just forgets he exists and worries about the other employees and grabbing their stuff. Now what's going to happen is, is our dude's going to end up getting his gun out. Bang, 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 bang. And unfortunately he's going to have a malfunction, a second malfunction and run off. Now, if you go read the news story that I've linked in the description, our perp here who had the gun is mortally wounded. He is going to shuffle off this mortal coil in a few seconds. Now watch what happens. His girlfriend's injured. She's going to actually grab the backpack, grab the gun from the guy, and actually pull it out of his cold, dead hand. No joke. And then wander off. They're going to catch her a little ways down the road. But our perp there took the room temperature challenge. Make sure that you go and listen to the Active Self-Protection podcast with our defender in today's video. And what you'll hear is that he and a former good friend who was a neighbor have had a significant falling out. In fact, he's gotten an order of protection against that guy that has not yet been served. It had just been approved but not served. So it's 5.30 in the morning and our defender is actually walking out here to his car and the guy he's got an, you know, that he's had a falling out with is parked across the street waiting for him at 5.30 in the morning and is going to come and confront him, and he actually has a knife on his person. We have audio from a couple of angles here. Let's listen into what happens. Get down. Get down. I said get down. Shoot me! Down. Shoot me, bitch! Get down! Shoot me, motherfucker! Get down! Shoot me, bitch! Get down! Get down on the ground! Get down! Get down! Get about that life. I didn't do anything. Shoot me! Get down! Shoot me! Get down! Shoot! Get down! Shoot! Get down! Shut your fucking mouth! Put your fucking hands up, pussy! Put your fucking hands up, pussy! Get down! Put your fucking hands up, pussy! Put the fucking gun down and scrap like a man, bitch! Scrap like a man, bitch! Put your motherfucker on the pink guy. Do it! Ow! 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 The perp here has a knife clipped into his shorts, and you heard him screaming and you know yelling and, and questioning his ego and all those things. But what you're going to see here is, and thinking about it, as he takes off the overshirt, that exposes the fact that he's got a knife clipped to his waistband. And then he's going to sneak in, sneak in, and then kind of make a gesture as he comes in like he's going for that. And that's when he gets shot. What you see here is a dude in the motorcycle helmet is robbing the guy who is at the ATM. Uh, he's come into this ATM kind of foyer. He's trying to withdraw some money. Dude at the, with the helmet on has a gun pointed at him in his right hand. Guy has walked in to use the ATM as well. And that is a place where it is going to distract our robber. And so our victim's going to grab his gun and shoot him with it. And, and then go up and smack him upside the head with it. Our robber is going to run off and our victim is gonna let him go. Our robber ended up being found a couple houses down from this or a couple blocks away, and he took the room temperature challenge there. No one else was harmed. You see this guy walking by. That's actually our second robber walking by on his phone. You're gonna see a couple walk in here 
and they are going to be our intended victims. Now, I have put a link in the news story uh, to a news story in the description, and I want you to check that out because there's a bunch of people saying it's from a bunch of different places, and also that this is a robbery, but I, I, I don't know that it is. This couple is our intended victims, particularly this guy in the hat who is a police officer. Now, this guy in the blue, that is gonna be our primary robber. Now, watch the couple who has walked into this place here as the dudes have kind of cased them here, and you're gonna see our robber is going to kind of come back by and see him. Now, notice that our, uh, our off-duty officer is paying attention to his world. See this guy come on back. Now, watch as he does. He's gonna button hook around and pull his gun and come and attack. But as he does, our officer is gonna get his gun out, try to kind of bat that guy's gun out of the way and is gonna shoot him multiple times and then kick his gun out of the way. Notice the second robber tries to chamber his gun and fouls it and so when his buddy starts losing the fight, he bugs out. And so now our officer here was actually injured in this fight as well. He was shot in the arm um, and in like up into his armpit and he did make it through this and our perp did not as far as that news story says. The owner of this store who is in the back, you can see him there, is uh, 80 years old and he has been watching on his surveillance cameras as this car has pulled up. He said he got a bad feeling from it, so he made sure that his shotgun was ready. We have audio, let's listen in. Those dudes ran off. The cops did catch three of the four of them later at the hospital with one of the guys having wounds on his arm that was consistent with a shotgun blast. The owner, according to the news story, uh, an 80 year old man did end up having a heart attack out of this one. He was transported to the hospital. He's recovered from that. There's a robbery going on at a Korean restaurant here in Sao Paulo. Look on the right, there's, this is that across the street neighbor who is a high level competitive shooter, has a competitive shooting license in Brazil, decides to call 911 then go over there, I don't know, emergency services over there. There's a robber outside though, so he starts shaking this guy down. You see the guy put his hands up, okay man, I don't want any trouble, whatever after he had decided to go over there. Now they're gonna hand fight a little bit as the guy points a gun at him. And when he sees there's a second guy in here, watch what he does. He's gonna get his gun out, shoot the second guy first, and then go after the first guy multiple times, go back after the second guy, get him. Now he's gonna start with his light. I don't know if that was a handheld or a pistol mounted. Gonna really take his time on this last shot. And you're gonna see that guy kind of fade out from there. If you go read the news stories that I've linked in the description, he ended up, the, the guy on the right, he's toast. He takes the asphalt temperature challenge. The other guy was injured. There was a big standoff at the restaurant after he called emergency services. They did end up getting those guys into custody as well. Normal day for the guy in the red shirt until the guy jumps off the back of the moto and points a gun at him. But watch now these two other guys on their moto. Dude jumps up, he's got a gun of his own, and the first guy on the moto does too. So two dudes off of a moto behind the robber got off, both of them were armed and absolutely smoked that guy. I don't have any information from a follow-up as to you know who ended up where or whatever, but this guy definitely looked like he was out of commission. Our good guys look unharmed. Motorcyclist on the left is an off-duty cop and you're gonna see two dudes on a moto who are going to chase him down. The one in the back points a gun at him, says, hey man, we want your moto. So our guy dumps that and says, okay man, whatever you want, and then kind of jogs off, draws his firearm from behind cover and re-engages these guys and how you have a gun. I have one of those two, gets the first one, gets the second one and they both lie down there and regret their life choices. Now, I'm gonna let this continue to play because he's gonna hang out here for a significant amount of time before anybody else comes. So you're gonna see him kind of dig out his phone there, get on the phone and, and get emergency services on the way. These guys are laid down. Now, if you go read the news story that I've linked in the description, requires some Google Translate. 
Both of these guys were actually eventually taken to the hospital. They were still alive at that time, though completely out of the fight. Uh, and But they both did die of their injuries. And so they ended up taking the asphalt temperature challenge. It just took them quite some time. See the cops finally show up. This dude finally puts his gun away. And man, uh, he did a pretty good job. Guy and his wife getting out of their car. He's holding their little girl. and looks like they've got some bags from shopping or whatever. They're about to go in the, the house where the blue door that they're just passing right now. And as they're getting in there, watch this guy run up on them with a gun and start threatening them. And as he does, you see the wife like, whoa, what's going on? Well, our guy's holding on to his little girl and he's going to draw a firearm and put four holes in that guy or three or four. I think you go read the news story in the description and put him down nice and hard. Well, uh, so now he's kicked the gun away from the guy. If you go read the news story that I've linked in the description as the mama finally gets the little girl and they're going to get inside the house because, of course, the gunshots make people come running. Uh, they, they did end up transporting this guy to the hospital. Nobody else was harmed in it. He was shot three times, and he's going to get to face the magistrates with a bunch of holes in him for being a dummy. Our defender is sitting in the middle of the screen on, you know, sitting on his motorcycle, messing around on his phone. We've got multiple angles of this one here. You're going to see two different motorcycles approach him with three total guys on it. He sees him and knows it's trouble because one of them's pointing a gun at him. So he's going to run off, get his gun out in the fight, wreck the first group of dudes. The second guy starts shooting at him. We're going to see in a minute. He drives him off with a hit as well and wins that fight. Let's see from this other angle as he sees them, starts running off. Now notice the guy on the moto here is actively shooting at him, hits, gets after him a couple times, but when he starts taking fire, he decides that he is gonna limp off and regret his choices in the world. Now one more time from another different angle, we are gonna now see our guy is going to run out. Those two guys had a firearm as well, but they decided that when he had one, they didn't wanna play anymore. And so they get down and get gone. Now he is going to then start doing some following up here because there's actually a person in that white car and you see him tell them to get the heck out of there, which they kind of sort of start, but then don't finish very much. Now he's going to decide, Hey, I need to have the cavalry show up here. So he's going to go back to his motorcycle to get his mobile device. And finally, the cops do show up long after the action is over. I don't know final outcomes on this because I don't have a news story that's any good. This guy is an off-duty cop, and you can see him kind of dilly-dallying around by his green car there looking on his phone. And he's going to finally get in it. And I want you to pay attention as he does to the right side of the screen in the top right. You're going to see that motorcycle go by, and they saw him with his stuff kind of dilly-dallying, so they're gonna turn around. You can see him underneath the numbers there, and as they turn around, he is still sitting there in his car. So now they're gonna jump up, and the guy on the back of the bike has a firearm. So he's gonna just start pulling away, but then see them, and our dude comes up here, and he's gonna start pulling on the door handle, but what he's not paying attention to is that guy's an off-duty cop. So as the window opens, he's gonna shoot that guy through the window and send him off running with a couple of more shots. The news story that I have linked in the description says that guy at the window took the asphalt temperature challenge. Our officer was not hurt, thankfully, though he did end up having to replace his window. Hey, if you stuck around all the way to this point, thank you for being a part of the active self-protection community. From me and my family to you and yours, Merry Christmas and God bless you. And would you do me a favor and let me know, what do you think of this format? Something a little different? Thought we'd do something crazy for Christmas Day and I'd love to hear from you.